And tomorrow will have been one year since Roe v. Wade was overturned. Today, President Biden signed an executive order to contraception access. Analysts say it's more of a symbolic move. Federal law says insurance has to cover contraceptives like birth control. Some Republicans tonight are proposing a nationwide 15 week abortion ban and abortion access will probably be a big part of the next election. Are they afraid of their constituents? They're going to have a lot more to fear in the next election. More than 12 states have some type of ban on abortions, and a pro-life group says they want to protect unborn babies. Now, Democrat lawmakers were part of a press conference today. They shared these two stories about women who weren't able to get an abortion. We heard about the 10-year-old rape victim who was told that she would have to carry her baby to term. We've heard from women who have been turned away from hospitals and told to wait in the parking lot literally until they were on the brink of death. House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries and the Pro-Choice Caucus were there. They say they want to eventually pass the Women's Health Protection Act. 